Hello everyone, hope you all are safe and sound. Today's video is one of my favorite curries and it has also been requested by some of my mom's friends. We are making green chicken curry or masala, whatever you like to call it. Now in a pan, add one small cinnamon stick, five to six cloves, one petal of star anise, not the whole flower, a small piece of mace, it is a spice, and two green cardamoms. Now we will add 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds and last we will add 2 teaspoon shahi jeera or black cumin seeds. If you do not have this just add 2 teaspoon cumin seeds instead of 1 teaspoon. 1 teaspoon couscous or poppy seeds is optional, I haven't added it because I don't have it in my area. Roast them well and then transfer into a cooling pan. For the wet ingredients, add 1 tablespoon of oil and swirl it around the pan. Next, add 3 medium sized onions chopped and toss them around. Once the onions are translucent, add 5 to 6 garlic cloves and the same amount of ginger as garlic. You want to swirl those around as well and then once finished, you can add 7 to 8 green chilies or according to your spice. There are many green chilies because these aren't really spicy. Then you want to add half to 1 cup of mint leaves. Swirl those around as well. Once done, you can add 4 cups of coriander leaves chopped. These should not be tossed around too much, otherwise they will lose their color. Once you have finished sautéing these, set them aside to cool down. Then add the dry ingredients along with this and blend it to make a fine paste or gravy. Now in a saucepan add 2 tablespoon of ghee which is clarified butter or you can use oil. You can add 1 shallot or small onion which is chopped. Sauté then add 1 kg bone in chicken. Let it cook for a little while. Now while it is cooking you can be sure there are more ingredients. Add 1 tablespoon of pepper powder, a quarter to half teaspoon turmeric powder, salt to taste and this is totally optional but you can add half to 1 cube of chicken stock. This is optional again so if you add this make sure you add less salt. Now cover the saucepan and cook for some time. Once the chicken is fully cooked, add the masala gravy into it. This gravy is very green and therefore the name green chicken curry. It's the most delicious curry and I really like it. At the end, you can add water to adjust the consistency of the gravy. And now take a small ball of tamarind which is soaked in hot water and add its juice. This will give a punch to the gravy. If you do not have tamarind juice, you can add 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. Once you have finished stirring it for some time, cover and cook until a little more bubbles come. Remove the lid, otherwise your gravy will turn into a very pale color. Also, you need to cook this on a low flame since the chicken is already cooked. Once the bubbles start immediately coming, off the gas and let the chicken rest so that it can nicely absorb the masala of the gravy. Serve this delicious curry hot with rice or your choice of breads. I'm sure you liked this video. If you didn't, just try out the recipe. You'll fall in love with it. If you liked the video, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel where me and my mom will be posting new videos. Thanks for watching.